So here we are, I'm now in the big Shab Valley area here. This is where a lot of cheat clearance is going on and this Mark Sabato who is from Kia. You are really now in the big fill area in the zone. Great to see this now with the tree clearance going on but this is where all the action is going to happen and there is actually going to be an interchange here. Tell me all about it. This is critical isn't it? Absolutely Peter. So what you can see here, this is this is what we call the Shav Valley. This is the hub of the job. This is the heart of the whole scheme. Um, everything's coming up the hill. We're, we're, we're leveling out now um, in, into what we'll call the flatlands. We've, we've come from the big 16 meter cut. This is the 16 meter plus fill. This is, this is where the action is. This is, this is the earth movers dream. <laughs> Half a kilometer away, we're in 16 meters cut into the fill area here. This is a critical path for us last year. The reptile mitigation, we've relocated badger sets in here. And as you can see now, it's enabled us to carry on with the tree clearance before the bird nesting season starts. So that's happening now, um, as you can see, get the trees gone, earthworks, preparation, foundation prep, a lot of drainage blankets to go in here, then we can start the fill. So tell me, what is a drainage blanket as such and, and how important is that when, you, when you're looking at changing the, the, the geographical nature of this, mm. this part of the, the actual project? So we place in here on the base of when, when the top saw strip, we place 60,000 ton of 6C material. It's basically, it's a clean single, uh, 70 to 40 mil clean material, no fines in. And it enables any of that groundwater that's perching up or perching across to find its own way out on the on the lower drainage levels. Right. So realistically, folks, we're taking that material as well from the job site, aren't we? Literally down the road. Yes. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So that's going into the crushers and screeners when uh, when it needs to get yep. to that level, and then it goes into here compaction, and then we start with the earth fill. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's it. We start bringing up the fill, and we bring it up, and then there's a split level interchange in here in the finished works. So the new road in towards Birdlit Village and Stroud will heads across behind us. Um, and then from this point onwards, going away over behind the other side of the valley, it becomes a standard four lane carriageway. So folks, we're here at the Earth Movers Dream. I love that phrase, Mark. And, and we're going to really follow the project and see the progress we've made so far using specialist equipment at the moment to support the tree felling. And also, you told me earlier, these trees are actually going to be a part of the project for the future because you're using a different material that that you're going to use for one of the bases of the great one of the big, great big concrete structures what's that all about because these are going to have a second life aren't they on the project we're saving a lot of the tree chip on site we're going to put it through a paralysis machine which burns the wood chip uh, at over a thousand degrees and it creates a charcoal material which has moisture retention and we'll use that to place on top of the concrete bridge decks for all the planting that goes onto the bridge decks. Wow, so the trees getting used again as part of the project. It all adds up when you bring it all together to be a real project that is actually helping itself. The material on site, the movement, the trees getting reused. And so folks, the Earth Movers Dream will be following this section in particular with Mark and the team in the future. Cheers, Mark. Thank you, Peter.